Well, Thanksgiving Day is finally here and you've been asked to bring something sweet to dinner. If you're like me, the panic immediately sets in. What do I make? How long is it going to take? How much is it going to cost me? Is it going to taste good? Well, with us now to ease our nerves is <laughs> Rachel Limbaum from Semi Sweets located in the Flint Farmers Market. She's going to help us make something really quick if we're headed out today. So Rachel, what are we making today? We're going to make a dessert trifle today. It's a layered dessert. Typically it's English, which has custard juice, some type of cake, and then we're going to do fresh fruit that you just have laying around the house today. So a trifle sounds pretty complicated. Is it going to be really easy for us? It's actually super easy because all it is is just layered different components. So we have some fresh fruit that we just have laying around in your fruit bowl at your house. We have a store bought pound cake. You could also use any type of cake that you like, a mm -hmm. cake mix or anything like that. A little bit of whipped cream, a little bit of flavorings. And then we like to use our homemade dessert sauces that we make at the store, but you okay. can also use your favorite jar canned of any type of five filling so that you have. So we have all this laying around in our pantry. Pretty much, you know, um, anything that you have right around the house. And it's very simple because all you do is put a little bit of your flavoring into your Cool Whip. A lot of people always forget to not flavor their Cool Whip. Mm -hmm. It's a great way just to add a little bit of flavor without being too expensive. So how much are of, of the vanilla extract are we putting in our it's Cool Whip? It's about a tablespoon and all you want to do is just fold it in and this is going to be the very bottom part of your trifle. Mm -hmm. So adding a little extra flavoring to a topping like this could really change up your dish. It can, you know, a little bit of almond or lemon depending on what kind of fruit you have laying around the house. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. And then all you do is you start with the very bottom of your trifle and it's going to go right at the bottom and you just kind of layer in there. The main thing is that you want the sides to look pretty because this can also be type of your centerpiece also. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to continue to layer this bottom and coming up, we're going to continue to put this together because this looks absolutely amazing. And don't forget, once we're finished, you can find all this on our website at mynbcnews.com. If you need to bring a quick, delicious dish to one of your family events today, Rachel Limbaum here from Semi Sweets has you covered completely. So I know when someone asked me to bake something, panic sets in, but you're showing us something sweet and easy that everybody's gonna love, right? Yep, what we're gonna continue to do is layer our trifle. Mm -hmm. If you wanna go ahead and continue to cut, we're just gonna cube these into little cubes. So what we have here is... Um, it's uh, just a store-bought pound cake. Okay. Um, you can also use, you know, if you had a leftover layer cake, anything like that. Okay. And I'm gonna take those from you, and I'm gonna layer them right in here, which is... All the trifle is is just a layered dessert with whatever you have laying around the house. So if we didn't have pound cake, what could we use? We could use cookies. You could use leftover day old donuts. You could use. Oh, wow. So um, really anything we have hanging out in that pantry. Yep. If you need something quick and easy to make, this is where to go. Yep. So we have a nice layer of that now. Okay. So now we're going to add a little bit of moisture. I have chosen a raspberry lemonade just because I have a lot of raspberries laying around the house and uh -huh. I typically have some kind of juice lemonade. We just want to make sure that pound cake stays nice and moist. Okay. And then if you'd like to hand me one of our dessert sauces, that's something that we do make at the store. This one is our blackberry and we are going to just give this a quick little stir and then we're going to layer this on next. So this is homemade from a semi sweets. This is. Okay. And um, if people maybe want to try this at home, what can they do? Um, if, if this is just a condensed down um, berry mixture with a little bit of sugar, lemon juice, gotcha. and then you just let it boil down and you strain it. Or you can use any type of your favorite canned pie filling. This might be a silly question, but what about jelly? You could use a jam or a jelly. Mm -hmm. You just want to mix it up really good so it's not gelatinous. You gotcha, want to make gotcha. sure it's just a little bit smoother than a normal jelly. Okay, so we are going to layer that on top of our whipped cream, which was flavored with um, vanilla extract, yep, right? Yeah, a little bit of our then vanilla. Then we have our pound cakes. And now we're putting the jelly on top. All right, so coming up in our next segment, we're going to continue to go ahead and make everything here with Rachel. Coming up in our next segment, we're going to continue to put together the trifle. And don't forget, we have a taste test coming up, which I'm looking forward to. Thanksgiving Day is finally here. And if you are going to someone's house for dinner, they probably asked you to bring something or you don't want to come empty handed. Well, you don't have the baking skills, neither do I. So to help us out here is Rachel from Semi Sweets located in the Flint Farmers Market. Now, Rachel, what can we make super easy? This is our dessert trifle. It's just a layered dessert. And as you can see, we have layered, layered whipped cream, pound cake, different kinds of fruit jams or jellies that we had talked mm -hmm. about earlier. And then we also have our fresh fruit that we find just in our fruit bowl sitting around. This is absolutely beautiful. And it, honestly, it looks like it took hours and we have literally made this in a half hour. Yep. Not definitely. even. And, and we've just been kind of layering. So um, starting from the beginning, we've been following Rachel making this all morning so far. So the whipped cream, a little added touch is you say is vanilla extract, yep. right? You 
always want to flavor your whipped cream. A lot of people leave that out, mm -hmm. and it's just a nice way to add extra flavor, and make it feel a little bit better. So how do our how do our layers going? So people we started are just tuning in. We started with our whipped cream, followed by our pound cake. With then we used our dessert sauce that we make at the bakery, but you can also use your favorite can jar mm -hmm. of any type of. Um, jam, jelly, or pie filling. Okay. Then we follow it by the fresh fruit that we just had lying around. Mm -hmm. So now I'm putting the finishing touches on the very top just to make it look presentable. It's beautiful. In presentation. I so almost don't want to eat it. Almost. <laughs> almost. almost. We have just some toasted almonds here mm -hmm. just to add a little crunch on the top and just to add a little bit of brown. We chose um, a little bit of green and red on the top so that way it's great for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. Right. This is also kind of like the healthy way to go too. If you're looking to kind of save some calories this Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. you could switch this to a light whipped cream or anything like that, right? Yep, definitely. Okay. And at the baker, we always think presentation is everything. Yes. So we, you can <gasps> so add a little pretty. ribbon for the holidays. So we're gonna tie this on here very quickly. And then it can also become your centerpiece. So that yes. way if you have that last minute guest and you don't have fresh flowers or anything like that, we can just put a Beautiful. nice little bow. All right, well, for if you are interested in learning how to make this, make sure you check out our website at mynbcnews.com. Something to help you out. Now, if you're like me out there, not a baker, you need some help, this is the way to go, right, Rachel? Absolutely. It's very simple, easy, ready to go on a short notice with just simple items that you have laying around your house. Mm -hmm. It's just, trifle is just a layered dessert with some type of cream, um, a cake, and then a jam or jelly of some sort. Now, if you missed her here all morning, don't worry. We have everything, all the ingredients and instructions on our website at mynbcnews.com. But a few tips before people make this, traveling. People are going over, what do we need to do to make sure we get this intact? Obviously, something like this might be a little tricky to mm. carry around, but you can also do a standard Tupperware container also. Still adorable with the bow. Yep, and then you could also, if you wanted to give a gift, like you're going and it's a last minute, you can make this, tie a little bow, little spatula, and give them to your gift as a housewarming gift or party item. Perfect, and if people are making this, you have a few tips uh, for them when they're getting everything together. Yep, if you're going to do a day ahead, you definitely want to dip your apples and your bananas in a citrus water of some sort, a little lemon juice in your okay. water, and that'll prevent it from browning. Um, and then you want to just keep it covered until you're ready to serve. All right, perfect. So how do we serve this? You just we go just dig in, dig it's right so in. Pretty. I almost don't the good eat thing it. about it is that you can dig in the middle, and then you can keep the outside looking pretty, also. All right. So um, again, and Rachel, you were also featured in uh, my city this month, right? We are. We're part of the incubator program at the Flint Food Works, so it does have a very nice article about us and about how the program can help help other small businesses. Perfect. All right. Well, for more on Rachel and this dessert, don't forget to visit our website at mynbcnews.com.